China's classic H-6 bombers have been upgraded into missile-armed platforms, and now they're paving the way for the stealthy H-20, an aircraft that could reach across oceans with heavy payloads. In this video, we examine how these transformations alter the landscape, why they are significant for global balance, and what's next in this strategic shift in aviation. The H-6 bomber has been transformed into a powerful backbone of China's long-range strike capability. Originally derived from the Soviet Tu-16, the aircraft's modernized versions are a world apart from that early design. Today, the People's Liberation Army Air Force operates with the most advanced variants, H-6K and H-6N, showcasing how much progress has been made. The H-6K introduced advanced avionics, upgraded radar, and new D-30KP-2 turbofan engines. These improvements allow the bomber to carry heavy precision-guided missiles instead of gravity bombs. The CJ-10A air-launched cruise missile, with a range of more than 1,500 kilometers, gives the aircraft the ability to strike key regional targets without leaving Chinese airspace. Beyond cruise missiles, the H-6K is also armed with anti-ship weapons like the YJ, 12 and YJ-21, some of which are reported to reach hypersonic speeds, making them very difficult to intercept. The H-6N takes this evolution further. Designed with in-flight refueling capability, it greatly extends operational range, enabling missions deeper into the Pacific. It also features a recessed belly hardpoint that can carry large payloads. Analysts believe this missile could potentially carry maneuverable reentry vehicles, increasing the challenge for any defensive system. The H-6N may also serve as a launch platform for hypersonic glide vehicles, showcasing how China is experimenting with new strike concepts. Operationally, these bombers are no longer confined to training exercises. In 2025, for example, satellite images confirmed H-6 deployments to bases on disputed islands in the South China Sea, marking the first time such bombers were publicly stationed there in years. Such positioning demonstrates their real-world role in extending reach and signaling presence far from the Chinese mainland. What's important is how the H-6 has gone from being an outdated design to a versatile, long-range missile carrier, including advanced variants. If the H-6 is the workhorse of today, the H-20 is the symbol of tomorrow. The H-20 is widely reported to be a flying-wing stealth bomber designed to rival the U.S. B-2 Spirit, an upcoming B-21 Raider. It represents not just a new aircraft, but a major shift in how China views long-range aviation. The H-20's most striking feature is its stealth design. A flying-wing configuration reduces its radar cross-section, making it harder to detect by radar networks. This stealth capability is key because it allows the bomber to penetrate defended airspace and deliver its payload with a higher chance of success. While exact details remain classified, estimates suggest a range between 8,500 and 10,000 kilometers, with the capacity to carry 10 to 40 tons of weapons. That could include conventional munitions, precision-guided bombs, or nuclear-capable cruise missiles. Among its likely payloads is the CJ-20 air-launched cruise missile, itself an upgraded version of the CJ-10 with a range of over 2,000 kilometers. Coupled with the aircraft's intercontinental range, this means the H-20 could strike targets across the Pacific, including distant bases such as Guam or Hawaii, and potentially even touch parts of the U.S. mainland. This dramatically extends China's strike options beyond its immediate neighborhood. The introduction of the H-20 also completes China's nuclear triad, giving it air seed and lawn based delivery systems. This development is more than symbolic. It ensures China's deterrent forces are diversified, making them more resilient against any single point of failure. Pentagon projections suggest that by 2035, China could field at least 50 hours 20 seconds, each capable of carrying up to 16 weapons. While the U.S. plans a slow, deliberate rollout of its B-21 Raider, China's proven ability to mass-produce aircraft suggests it could scale the H-20 program rapidly. The importance of the H-20 lies not only in its specifications, but in what it represents strategically. It shows a deliberate transition from regional focus to global ambition. 
with stealth, extended range, and a heavy payload. The H-20 signals China's intent to join the small club of nations with intercontinental strike bombers. In doing so, it doesn't just expand military capability, it reshapes the psychological and strategic balance of long-range aviation. The modernization of China's bomber fleet carries lessons that go beyond the aircraft themselves. Together, the H-6 upgrades and the H-20's development highlight a deliberate strategy, leveraging existing platforms for immediate impact while simultaneously investing in next-generation systems for long-term capability. The H-6 demonstrates the value of upgrading proven designs. By adding hypersonic-capable missiles like the YJ-21 and advanced air-launch ballistic missiles, China has turned an old airframe into a credible platform that can threaten HAG value targets quickly. Satellite evidence of H-6 deployments in the South China Sea, as well as joint exercises near Alaska alongside Russian aircraft, show that these bombers are not confined to test ranges. They are actively used as tools of presence and projection. At the same time, the H-20 represents the leap into stealth and intercontinental reach. Its stealth profile makes it harder to track, while its long endurance makes it capable of missions across the Pacific and potentially beyond. Combined with nuclear and conventional payloads, it gives China the ability to send a message not just regionally, but globally. Importantly, the H-20 also serves as a capstone to China's strategic aviation doctrine, adding credibility to its nuclear deterrence by completing the triad. These developments also reveal how China is approaching defense modernization differently than in the past. Instead of relying on incremental change alone, it is pursuing a dual path, rapid upgrades for immediate capability through platforms like the H-6 and ambitious projects like the H-20 to shift the balance in the long run. This balance of short-term practicality and long-term ambition shows a more confident and structured approach to strategic planning. Of course, challenges remain. China still faces issues with stealth-compatible engines, and its real-world experience with bomber operations is limited compared to countries like the United States. Questions remain about the H-20's true radar signature, sensor capabilities, and long-range reliability. But even with these uncertainties, the trajectory is clear. China's bomber force is no longer an afterthought. For observers worldwide, the shift from H-6 to H-20 is not just about two aircraft. It's about how strategic reach and deterrence are evolving in the 21st century. From the refurbished H-6, now armed with hypersonic and long-range strike options, to the stealthy H-20 poised to extend reach across oceans, China's bomber fleet is undergoing its most dramatic transformation yet. These changes highlight not just new planes, but a shift in doctrine and ambition. If this breakdown gave you something to think about, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll be reading and replying. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.